Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 124 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. So we've got a battle in progress, so let's get to it. You know, in this game, kind of like the last game, on occasion when you defeat human enemies, they do drop no loot for you. Mm. No, she needs to heal kiss near. Now I happen to know that Kisnir is on the verge of a class change. Oh great. Well, apparently reinforcements have arrived. We've been waiting, uh, brave warriors and stuff. <laughs> So, our luck has apparently run out now that the reinforcements here. So everybody's conquer the castle and all. This may be the only time I've seen Kudvan's smile, such as it is. Okay, whatever. So, be sure not to harm the city at all. What you're permitted to do is only attack the castle. So don't permit any encounter attacks and don't give them any time. Suppress all of the followers of the Dark God. Huh? Are you honestly speaking of fear? Well, anyway. Here we'll be fine. Kisnir, let's see what we can do with you right there. After Kisnir gets her class change, I think I'm going to pull out Mikshuana. I happen to know that she has sex scenes. Well, practically all... Well, all of the girls in my party do. But we haven't seen any of them because she isn't high enough level. I think. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Class change! Okay then. Ah, she gets another movement point, so she can move four. Ooh, another sword dance. And multi-attack. Two magic attack and two phys two magic defense and two physical defense. Which would be good if we were keeping her as a... Oh, Jesus there. Hmm, that's just a crimson jewel. Hmm, whatever. Alright, zap these fuckers. Fine, whatever. That's good enough. Now, Kisnir has been hit with confusion, meaning she can't use her capturing skills. Oh, those damn beast men. But I have other tanks. Better tanks. Oh, yeah. 
This is... Oh, yes. That's a weapon for Eel. And if I recall correctly from my trial run... Yes. Her ultimate sword at this moment is this one. Which she had to start with this one, forge this one out of that one, this one out of that, and this one out of that. And because we forged this last one, we didn't have a lightning one, but now this lightning sword for Eel has been replenished. Hmm. I shouldn't have moved Avaro there. He'd be doing better here with detail right where Avaro's standing. But next turn. Oh, yes, of course. Kisner should be just about ready to explode. No, not Kisner. Risha should be just about ready to do her explosion again. Oh, just about. She's probably been ready for the past four turns. But with this many characters in range, it may be beneficial to do it now. It's kind of fun doing that just for the sake of hurting my own allies. Oh great, Fia levels up. I should take more care not to level Fia too much. After all, Fia's stat caps are based on her goddess rank, and her goddess rank goes up outside of battle, not in battle. Oh, guess who's a sucker walking up for punishment? Oh, all of these guys are. Let's see, Avaro has good buffs. I think at this point he has one that can buff her up to the max attack buff in only two, it two uh, applications. Yep, here it is. Hmm, I think I'll have a Varo buff Deed Helm as well. Yeah, 
and time to fix all the damage that Rishi did to her allies. Oh, that was nice. Both magic attack and physical attack. No, you're supposed to walk in and attack her so she can capture you. Like these guys. These guys and their stupid perfect dodge skill. Well, I better start moving in. It messes up my defensive posture because then I need to start moving in my ranged characters. And that's just a hassle. In addition, moving in, leaves are vulnerable to more attacks because there are so many enemies out here. But we're pushing through. Oh, good. Mm, what kind of trap? Spell point trap. That'll be fine. Oh, how nice. Defense, defense. I'm getting so many small healing potions from these guys. But seriously, though. Let's get some healing on. Okay, first priority is my healers. No, you're not a healer, you. Still not a healer, you. I think these are just standard female bogers. Yep. How can they keep their balance like that? I 
bit odd that they would attack Rishu and Seri instead of Avaro. But who am I to second guess their decisions? Okay, now this is just stupid. No, no, actually Fia doesn't have much life or defense. Although she's surrounded by characters who will defend her. Okay. Yeah, that's both Fia. And Fia will use a magic attack. Let's see how this works. Huh. Super effective, as the saying goes. Alright, first off. You, here's something useful for you to do. Which means... I could have pulled Mixuana out this turn and saved her a trip. Man, Ranrin does so much damage. Hmm. Only two stars. I'm going to just kill them. So much damage, see? Uh, let's have I coming closer so Detail can move in. Of course. Curious, curious peculiarity of the AI they've always had is the way that melee characters will always move through their allies instead of moving to, through open spaces. You see, if I controlled this one and the AI were moving a var for me, they'd do something like moving here, skipping right through this in order to have, I don't know, Rishu take the hits for him. But whatever. Oh yes, healing. Hmm. I best not move Mikshuana up front while she's still flying. Because those archers are almost certain to have anti-air capacity. Doing an extra six damage to her. Yeah, that would be bad. An elixir. And of course they attack Mixua, huh? Gitchen thinks she can't fly right now. I wasn't really paying attention, but that guy must have gotten some piercing in.
Oh man, Rishon clearly needs some healing. All right, let's see what Mikshu, Mikshu, Anna can do. Mm, a little bit. Man, these cramped quarters. Hmm, a large healing potion. Yeah. Oh, Risha should be okay for another turn. I mean, if they get like eight piercing attacks, she'll be in trouble. But this is actually good for me. Ha, ah, magic. Die. That's some kind of yellow color. Uh, maybe it's mustard. Hell, it's hard to say. I don't know all those obscure colors. Great. Hmm, I don't think Mikshuana can take that archer down by herself. How about now? Not quite. Too much. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, how nice. A bunch of skills. Oh, man. This is Defender of the Subjugating Flames. More attack costs and... Nothing special to see here. Maybe I'll take a look at her skills, though. She got an upgrade on her party buff. Still, I don't use... You know, magic defense buffs that often. This was something she got, an improvement on her physical, her melee skill. I think there's something else. Demon killer. I think she already had that. But she got her first ranged attack. Not bad. It has a range of three. Okay. Hey, a healing feather. Wonder if any of my guys need it. Well, taking a look at it, I guess Rishu does. And maybe some of my spellcasters. Hey, I is completely out. Of spell power. Why is there just this trap standing here? It's not like I'm going to be fighting enemies in this room. weak against lightning. Okay, new plan. You're not going in there. I wanted to pick Mikshuana. Well, she's not strong against it, but at least she's not weak against it either. 
Speaking of which, I probably haven't equipped her with anything special. Yeah, she can use some really good armor. Precia mail. Mithril chain mail. It's got the best magic defense, so I'll go with that. Oops. Zamir Greaves. Hmm. Hey, that makes her in immune to instant death. Which is nice, I guess. Ronin is immune to lightning, so that'll be good. This one over here is an ice mage, though. Hmm. Oh, better not bring Mikshuana too close to him. Ah, yeah, enough worrying about things. Everybody push in. Uh, no. Yep, this is going to work well. Oh, he gets two attacks. Whatever. Stick this in your pipe and bleed to death slowly. I said slowly. These bad damn bastards don't listen to anything you say. Yep, these red armor guys have that determination skill. Oh, you can come back in, Avaro. It's safe for you now. Not that there's any space for you. Hmm. Let's see. Make sure I'm able to do decent damage still, but we'll take more than decent damage. Hmm. By this point, he's got his determination on full appeal. Well, do what you can, Detail. I know that's basically nothing against this guy, but still. Keep out of me, Shawana. Um, no. She does do damage except when his shield skill activates. 20% of the time, huh? Hmm. Alright, Mikshana, let's see if you can do this. Great. Oh, that lightning guy paralyzed him. Uh, come back and get to that leaf feather. Hmm. Okay. Code Hmm. Hmm. 
curious. The lightning guy had a range of four, but this guy only has a range of three. Keep waiting, Alicia. You're my backup tank. Of course! I'm always weak against both lightning and thunder. Uh. But perhaps a lightning attack would be better. Nope. This will be fine. Ha! Wonder how Mikshana will be able to fight these girls. Oh, look at that fog was coming up. Well, let's see what happens. Bam! So, your reinforcements have been bashed. And you, the second pillar has fallen. But her forces can relax because they'll be fighting her next. Yeah, she'll stop us for sure. Oh, yeah. You've been injured a while. So, wait for the feather to appear. Oh, man. Nope. These girls are three, so I better not kill them. But, this won't kill her. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of nervous having Mikshuan used as a tank because I never really thought of her as a particularly good one. Resistance against holy, huh? Well, they're also resistant against this, but it also gives a little bit of an attack bonus. Next up, detail. Then the healers. Ha 
Huh. She did pretty decent damage. Oh, say, Mikshuana has a ranged attack now. I better equip it. Not that much range, though. Okay, what's the story of this elf? Oh god. It's a male elf archer. You get extra murder for being an elf and being male. Oh yes, skills. Oh yeah, she just has this space open for it. I might as well take that out. She doesn't have very many good skills. Honestly. Oh, and how nice a flame attack. Those Jilnis have a good long range attack, don't they? But <laughs> they're up against Deed Helm. And they fly, so they die. Sorry, girl. Ah, crap. Mikshuan has been paralyzed. You got a death wish or something? Well, there you go. Now this elf archer, I'd see if that guy doesn't take two turns for no good reason. Yeah, this may kill him, but it probably won't. Hmm. Okay, elf archer, and okay, make sure I can counterattack with something he's resistant to. Of course, he, for whatever reason. He's using a holy attack as well. But his bow itself is a holy attack, so... Well, he's kind of screwed either way, isn't he? Yep, holy and... Lightning. She's resistant to both of those. No. No, she's not resistant to lightning. Maybe we get to see him try that next turn. Okay. The bow or the knight, man. Kill the bow guy. Who is most important to get through there? Let's start with I. Yeah, next up will be Fia, but she's already moved. However, you can get through there to the deploy point easily. First thing next turn. Burn, motherfucker, burn! Oh, great. Uh, defense, defense. Good, if I'm using her as a tank, that'll be a, be a welcome change. Defend. Now, I don't want to hurt this guy. 
Well, it doesn't matter if I hurt this guy because he runs back to that feather and gets healed. Okay, I can counter the guy now. I'm close enough, but he's got magic barrier on. Hmm, pretty soon I'm gonna have to heal Mikshuana's spell points and hit points. Oh man, I've been letting get that get a bit too low. Now, first things first. While you're in range, Ron and Ron will heal you. Hmm. Oh yes, you. Man, I said I would move Fia in and then I forgot. Okay. Heal Mikshuana. Also, recover Meeks. Miku. Ah. Recover her spell points. She's going to be attacked again. Alright, fine, Avaro, you move in. See how this works? I'm a little over halfway done with my turns, and I'm a little over halfway done with the map. Making me wonder if I'll make it through in time. You again. <laughs> you talk big for a, a mook. Hmm, okay. I got an idea. Come on. Now if Deetham only had one more movement point. Oh come on. Perfect. Now he's in position to fire his arrows off into the thick of them again. Actually, I should have waited with Deethelm until I killed this guy. Contingency planning! Uh, oh well. That's enough battle and animations for now. Jeez, these lightning guys. There's no end to them. Alright, fresh meat. That'll be sufficient, probably. This is marginally meaningful. Yeah, sure. Hit back. Hmm. 
How inconvenient. Since I equipped him with a fool mill, he can't capture this guy. Bastards. Screw that. Oh yes, it was here. Nah, not meaningful. Fine, see if I care. I can't help but wonder if I might end up maxing out my captures this time. I wasn't even paying attention during my trial run. I wasn't expecting that to actually kill it. Oh, she's out of spell points. Again. Okay, please die. No, oh, no, of course not. Oh, great. Hmm. Okay, now Mikshuan is in range of three healers. So we're probably going to be able to get her through this. Oh. Well, extra large healing potions. They heal like 500 health. None of my characters need that much. I guess, uh, spell points. Alright. No. Hmm. Well, that doesn't happen very often. Now, 
he's still got that feather. I might have to go around and... And actually... Well... Even if I did kill him the way I could... I wouldn't be able to get on the feather this turn. Well, not with Mikshuama. Hmm... Alright, here's the plan, Mikshuana. Hit this guy and hit this guy hard. No, seriously, you need to hit him. Twice. They have, like, level 1 perfect dodge. No, level 3 perfect dodge. No wonder it hits a quarter of the time. So obnoxious. Now, are you out of spell points, too? Everybody's out of spell points. Alright, kill this guy. No. Not acceptable. That's not how we're doing things today. Uh, Detail, shoot this guy here. That'll scroll through the random number generator a bit. And... Ronin will be able to kill this guy. Perfect. And Mikshuana takes the feather, and we're good. Now what are you guys going to do about that, huh? Bitches. Hmm. shouldn't have used this attack. Okay, that works. This guy's pretty near dead. So I'll be able to step forward and kill him next turn. I gotta say, make sure I know you have been doing a good job out here. But I'm getting tired of this fight, so it's time to pull out the big guns. Damn, this guy must be slow if Kaurin can get three hits on him. Indeed, Helm is still paralyzed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just you just stand here. Oh, great. These guys think they're smart. Okay, in retrospect, that is actually a pretty good plan of attack. There, I filled my inventory completely full. 
of small healing potions. Still paralyzed. Oh uh, yeah, she's been getting hit by these bastards for all this time. Alright. Hmm. I already have those. That was something I crafted a long time ago, in fact. Oh, detail is healed. Looks like I've wasted so much time that those deploy flags have finally run out of guys to deploy. That actually takes quite a while. Damn it. Well, let's see. Do I have items for this? I think I do. Well, of course. Oh, look who's here. She has pretty good resistances. Oh, she's going to teach us just how foolish it is to lift our swords against the Influence Kingdom. Okay, that was pretty annoying. She got in two counters and like three double hits. So Mikshuan only got one clean hit off. Although it was a better hit than any of hers, she got like six. Hmm. Man, for a boss, she has terrible defense. Oh, here we go. This should do something. Oh, yes. Yeah, since she is a boss, I can't capture her, so I should be on the lookout for a way to get double items, at the very least. Probably I want the killing blow to come from Ditom or Mikshuana. Man, as if these quarters weren't bad enough without traps in them. Oops. Oh yes, of course. I should have seen that coming. Need him, get in there. That would have been a good time for a second move. Mm. Man. Well, at least she'll do damage to him. Hmm. Interesting. But. He's into the first stage of his determination now, which is good. Hmm, Mikshuan is hurting. Well.
Ah, great. No. Next turn I'll be able to capture her. Now you may be thinking, hey, you're full on small healing potions, why did you just use the large one? I have a good reason for that. Oh, look at the time. I guess I've outrun this as soon as I kill this girl. That's right. Put on the full meal for double items. Now kill her. Man, Detail can't do much damage to her. But he doesn't need to do much. Stenia. I think that adds to all four of your... Blah blah. Hey, I'm explaining the game here. Shut the hell up. So the Stenia is a another one of these accessories you can equip. Oh, I guess it's new to me. Where is it? I figured it'd be at the end. There it is. And I got four of them. That's pretty interesting. And five of all of these five of the depletables and three of each of the um base stats. And you can upgrade it a bunch. Man, oh man. Oh, yeah. This girl. We defeated her. Oh man. How surprising. So, it's so arrogant of us to be fighting against Fiusia. Uh, so, don't we consider it at all embarrassing the way we just follow our own will without any regard for her. So, we by our very existence will disorder the people. So, we need to be destroyed. And like criminals, we should just submit and obey. Yeah, whatever. Well, the one who's doing whatever they like without regard to others is you. Huh. This is just like when we were fighting Gilsh. You're just after what you want here. Hmm. Yeah. Talk to her after you've beaten her, why don't you, Avaro? Oh, this was a good one. He's pointing out that they decided to move before the next Holy Accords. After all, they said that we did this because we were afraid of the Holy Accords. But if they had so much confidence in it, why did they decide to do this? Hmm. So, the one who's arrogant here is again you guys. Yeah. This I am rubber, you are glue thing of yours, Avaro, it doesn't do much for me. Kabam! So, the Kingdom Army's keystone has fallen. Apparently she wasn't as strong as she talked. Well, it can't be helped. Could have as well enter the fray now. Well, I've only got 16 turns left, but I think it's going to go well. Oh, anyway, I've been on for a long time, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.